create we are. And like I was saying, how like the mind could, you know, cultivate, you know, such, you know, beauty. But also, you know, be destined for destruction, I guess you could say. And then, you know, with like depression, like I don't understand why there's so many different like terms for depression. I understand, you know, you know, major you know, depressive order and stuff like that. When, you know, you feel like crap for like, you know, like two weeks and stuff like that. But um, there's one specifically for when, you know, like a loved one dies, which really shouldn't be like classified as depression. That's just, you know, basically, you know, how I see it, you know, being human, you know, you lose someone significant for you. Of course, you're gonna be sad. If you're not sad, then that's, you know, probably something wrong with you. I understand, you know, everyone, you know, grieves, you know, differently, but it's just a human emotion. And then another one is like, if you're just like sad for like a couple of hours or whatever, and you know, you don't have like an episode like that for like months later, like this is another like depression, you know, term. I feel like that just, you know, like kind of like box people's in like box people like mine into like believing they have depression when really they're just you know experiencing you know human emotions humans have multiple emotions it's okay to be sad for a couple of hours doesn't mean you have depression it's just you experience sadness and then when they do that you know it can you know somewhat trigger a placebo effect making it worse can make them you know do drugs which can amplify their you know illness stuff like that so i guess it just really is all on, you know, perspective, I guess. Peace.